Hi everyone, I've got some junk journal paper packs available in my Etsy store and I have seven of them right now so I'm going to do this one video and just go over all seven of them and then the seven listings will be in the description below this video. So we'll start with the first one. I've included two covers. They are very vintage and um, this one here is blue. It's about five by seven. The spine is almost two inches thick and it's already gutted and it's a very nice royal blue. This is a smaller journal type four by it's about four by almost seven and it's a yearbook it's called from 1934. So this would be fun for another smaller junk journal. I'll show you a couple of the pattern papers and these little tags that I've included as well. Now what I'm going to do with these larger 12 by 12 sheets is I'm going to trim them down to about 9 and fold them. It'll just make the shipping a little cheaper and I'll include the off cuts as well. Okay, and then I've got some of these little merchandise tags in there. So there's six of these. And there's some inventory tags. Okay. Some guest checks. There's six of these as well. <clears throat> this little um, window envelope in a manila color. And it's got the opening on the top or on the side, I guess, as you would call it. And I've got three of these security envelopes and three of these larger newsprint bags. These are eight and a half by 11. So these are nice folded this way and included into like in a signature or you can do whatever. There's some ledger paper. Then I've got some vintage items in here. So there's some really old magazine pages. These are from the 50s. So these would be fun to cut out or do whatever you want with them. This is another nice one. A little baby. some postage stamps in the matching colors. These are Ohio consumer sales tax stamps. A couple of old um, library cabinet, uh, no, library catalog cards, geez. <laughs> And these old food stamps. So there's quite a few on here and on the back. These are um, first day of issue covers. They're from 1970 and 1978. Okay. Flashcard. This is another page from another food saver booklet. An old bingo card, old dictionary page, some kind of log book page, a currency book page. Some artwork and a book page from a children's stories. Next one I've got a blue um, gutted book cover 
and I have also included this old Reader's Digest cover and this would be nice with um, binder rings. You could use this for another journal and I'm including the spine. These make really cool bookmarks. You can reinforce the back and decorate it with pattern paper or something and then punch a hole and add a uh, ribbon. So these are the colors. These will be trimmed down a bit and again I'll cut and fold these down to nine inches tall. Also the same um, extras here, these merchandise tags, inventory tags, guest checks, a window envelope, security envelopes, ledger paper, newsprint bags, some postage stamps and sales tax stamps as well. Some food stamps. These are really cool. Catalog cards flash card this one is from 1975 and 1974 some book pages this one here is from the red 1934 cover from the other kit and it's blank Really cool architectural image here. So these would be fun in uh, glue books or collage art journals. Magazine. This is a very cool image. And these are from the 1950s again. In this one I've got a really cool um, French book. It's brown and it's about five by seven. The spine is only about almost three quarters of an inch. And it was um, from the Catholic school system way back, 1930. And then the Reader's Digest in here is uh, golds and blue and browns and the spine here for a bookmark and here's the pattern paper and then again similar items as before the guest checks, the inventory tags, merchandise tags, security envelopes, ledger paper, and newsprint bags. Lots to play with. And then again some stamps that match the paper and the book covers. So blues and browns, gold, catalog cards, the food stamps again. These are really cool. These here flip up this way. Old bingo card, flash card, a couple of these envelopes again, 1975, also 1975. Book pages. Another architectural image, some artwork, 
another book page. This lovely lady in a pretty dress. These advertisements, I always love these. Pretty tea set or place setting. Another retro ad. And a Catelli ad. <laughs> in this one, the book is intact and it's also about five by seven and it's um it's sort of a grayish blue almost teal and the spine's about an inch thick and then I'm also including this notebook um, cover which is always fun to uh, use you can leave it this way or you could even paint it or cover it up with decoupage and then use binder rings just as a little extra so the colors are blue and pink and browns. And this is the same as the other kits. So these stamps are green and pink and olive green or brownish. Bingo catalog cards. These are fun to alter. Flashcard, a couple of these. Uh, 1970 and 1970. That's either a three or a nine. Another 1934. There's some uh, writing in there, handwriting. Book pages, some architecture. Retro magazine. I thought this was a hoot. <laughs> Who's your choice for president? <laughs> Question mark. Okay, in this one I've included this small uh, prayer book for girls. It's intact, so I think these pages in here are really amazing. The text is nice and big, so this could be gutted and um, you could use the pages however you want. If you're making a prayer journal, you could include these in there. This cover has been gutted. The book was gutted. And um, it's a really nice burgundy. Obviously the lighting from being on a shelf faded the spine, but that's always nice. You can always, um, you know, could add some inking on there. You could cover that with some lace or you could just leave it. This is a really nice uh, embossed image here or stamped, really cool. It's about five by seven. 
So the papers I chose are brown with some pink. There's a bit of gold in there. And there's some stamps again. These are red and brown and yellow. And there's a pink one in there. More food stamps. These would be great in uh, collage art. Also included the book jacket for the uh, prayer book. Bingo card, catalog card, flash card. This is a really cool envelope. The stamp is a giant stamp. And this is actually from 1967. I thought that was just very fitting if you were going to use it for a prayer journal to go with the cover. Another religious image. Architecture. Little children's images. Carnation. <laughs> It's really funny to see these ads and what they actually say. I mean, look at that. It's a cigarette ad. Wow. <laughs> nice fashion here. Just beautiful. This one has a really gorgeous red cover. It's uh, not quite five, but it's definitely seven tall. The spine is about an inch. It's called The Friendly Road. It's very old. Then also another Reader's Digest uh, cover and some really co pretty colors. And the spine as well. Nineteen seventy one, nineteen seventy four. These are really cool, these old coins. Awesome. Architecture. I remember these. My grandma had one. Okay, and the last one is this beautiful gold colored children's book, about five by seven. The spine is um, a good inch and a half, if 
not a little bit more. I gutted it completely. Also including this notebook cover. Pattern paper. some stamps. Check out the puppy. How adorable. And then these Ohio Tex stamps. back stamps in there. This one is from 1965. It actually has someone's information on there. Cool stamp. This one's from 1976. Some book pages. This one has handwriting. More of these cool coin images. It's old artwork. Ketchup. <laughs> so these are all listed in my Etsy store and you can get to them by following the links. So the links below are in order of how I showed them in this video. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!